next to Omega Machines, we're slipping through the sewer grate to find a device that loves to dine on whatever you discard. It's JWC Environmental's 6016 Channel Monster. Used to crush, chew, and swallow sewer-clogging waste, JWC Environmental's 6016 Channel Monster stands 8 feet 5 inches high and weighs a crud-crunching 2,450 pounds. That's as much as an RV. Its twin grinding drums can grab a hold of gunk and suck it through 188 steel cutters while applying a debris disintegrating four tons of pulverizing power. And, uh, oh yeah, it uses only five horsepower to do it. You'll find this gigantic garbage disposal at facilities like the Union Sanitary District's Newark Pump Station, located just outside San Francisco's Bay Area. That's where the staff are privy to the rank results of 7 million toilet flushes a day. The Channel Monster is very much a hidden mega machine. They're deep underground, really hidden, but it is pretty cool to see them work. You're not sure if you want to be afraid or, or the little kid in you is excited to watch all the destruction. It's the first step in the treatment process. As the wastewater is coming in, solids get trapped by these two rotating drums. Pushed into these cutters. And they're like the cutters of death. Those solids are doomed. But despite the Channel Monster's affluent eradicating abilities, there's a maximum to what it can munch. But that's not a problem for this fella. This is the Channel Monster's meaner, nastier little brother. Meet the Macho Monster. This is the largest, most rugged piece of equipment in the world for treating sewage and for grinding particles in sewage. You name it, we grind it. This unit features 39 cutters mounted on two shafts. As you can see, they're arranged in a helical pattern, maximizing the cutting action between the two opposing discs. This piranha in a sewer pipe can slice, swallow, and shred solid refuse with nearly nine tons of force. More than twice the chewing power of its big brother. The original thought behind the design of this equipment was to uh, develop an industrial strength garbage disposal. You can imagine having something like this under your sink at home. You, you could put pretty much anything in it. <laughs> but before the macho monster is subjected to a lifetime of leftovers, first it's put to the test with JWC's own jaw-breaking banquet. Served up by Alexandra Conti. Don't try this with your home garbage disposal. On the menu today, plenty of fruits and vegetables. Woo! A rock and asphalt appetizer. A serious serving of fiber. You're gonna get a kick out of this. A main course of shoes, to cans, to cardboard, to clipboards. We're trying to rate my homework. To boogie boards. And for dessert, deck chairs. And driftwood. Let's get messy with the Macho Monster. All washed down with a ketchup and mustard chaser. <laughs>
monsters fed is not all fun and games. Get too close and merely catch a sleeve in their incisors. And let's face it, you're garbage. The most dangerous part is this central entry or inlet into these cutters. Should anything get caught, it's over. It's pulling you with so much force and torque that it's meant to cut through anything, um, including metal, let alone anything else that might get trapped in there. If it reaches out and bites you, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt a lot. In the wastewater industry, you know, we have a rule. And rule number one is don't fall in. Channel Monster and the Macho Monster. This one's for you, Tony. Are two machines that have taken a bite out of sewer blockages. And while you may not see them or hear them, remember, you'll be feeding them every time you flush. There's probably one not far away from you right now running grinding, chewing on things around the clock to keep the wastewater flowing smoothly. Like butter, baby. 